Good morning. This is the Ramblings of Indiscipline Mind Podcast for Tuesday, October 27th, 2015. So the moon is just beautiful this morning. I think it's full. It's either full or almost full or just coming off a of full. I'm not that in tune with the moon's cycle. But it's it's not too low, not too high in the sky, and there's this you know wispy clouds in front of it, so you get kind of the hazy moon effect going on there. With the light radiating out from it. Very pretty. So that was kind of neat to see this morning. You know, one thing that comes up on the interwebs occasionally are people complaining about how too connected we all are. We're all too connected to our cell phones. We spend too much time looking at our cell phones and not interacting with other people. Blah, 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 blah. And the wife and I had this moment when we were at the ill-fated dinner at Big Buck Brewery and Steakhouse. You know, we'd driven up there, um, and, you know, at one point, I think it was like after we ordered, you know, we just, there was this kind of this time where we both had our phones out, and we were, we were looking at what was going on in, in the uh, greater world that connectivity uh, with, through our phones represents. And so we're not talking to each other, we're looking at our phones, and I kind of glanced up and noticed that, you know, she was doing it too. And the thought struck me. You know, somebody who is just watching us might think, oh man, those two need to talk. <laughs> All they're doing is spending time looking at their phones while they're out to dinner together. That's kind of sad. And, you know, of course, the rest of the story is, is we just spent three and a half hours in the car together. We'd had plenty of time to talk, and we had... Um, you know, one of the one of the greatest lessons I think I've learned is that having someone in your life that you are totally comfortable with, like I am with my wife, doesn't mean you have to be talking all the time. It's okay to have times of silence. We had times of silence on the drive. And I mean literal silence because we got to the point where the radio station we tend to listen to fades out and um, we didn't bother, we we didn't think to bring any, any CDs and music and we didn't really feel like, you know, going channel surfing. So we just turned it off. And, and so we, we spent a bit of time just listening to what uh, Adam Savage once called the silence of the road. Just, you know, listening to the, to the noises of, of, of the highway as we, as we drove along. And so it's in that context that, you know, we hadn't been, well, at least I hadn't been because I was the one driving. I hadn't been on a phone a lot that day, you know, to see what was going on. Um, did a little bit, I think, once we got settled in the hotel, but, you know, I hadn't been on there a lot, so I was, I was still behind on, you know, Twitter and Facebook and the Google Plus and what, and what have you, so kind of in that, in that lull time between when my beer arrived and when the food arrived, you know, it was a good time to just kind of sneak a peek and see what, see what was happening. And it wasn't an indication that we're too connected and we need to unplug. And, and that's the problem. Anytime we, we see, you know, a couple or a family sitting there looking at their phones, we don't know what, the you know, someplace out in public, we don't know what the rest of their day has been like. Could be they've been together and interacting all day and now they want to take 10 minutes or five minutes and, you know, see what's happening out in the world. You know, and that's not a bad thing. 
there was a picture that came across my that came across my one of my feeds. I don't remember if it was Google Plus or if it was Facebook. I want to say Facebook, but I could be wrong. That was showing. It was, it was one of these, you know, before and after, or these two part. And it was showing a bunch of commuters on a subway or on a bus in 2015. You get all these people, and they're all staring at their phones. And some of them have earbuds connected. They're connected to their phones, but like practically everybody that's in this picture is looking at a phone or a tablet. And then the bottom part of the picture. It was black and white, and, it's in the, and the caption was 1945. And it's practically the same scene. The only difference is instead of cell phones, it's newspapers. You get all these people, they're standing up, they're sitting down, and they're reading their newspaper on the bus or on the subway. Because the reality is, you know, we don't... We, 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 we tend to, we can spend time in our heads without a phone. We can use a newspaper. I can just get lost in my head. You know, just kind of stare off into space and be lost in my own world. Hmm, I might be a writer. Uh, I've been known to do that. I'll probably do that more next month as I am going about my NaNoWriMo, which is, gosh... Six days? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's coming up. It's coming up fast. Good thing I've still about a novel. Uh, but, so... So, yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd, I'd talk about that because... Yeah, I, it's possible to be too connected. You know, there's been... I, I haven't heard really too many of these kind of issues here. I know in Japan it's an issue where they've had people that die at public computer cafes. I think mainly that's playing computer games but sometimes it can be doing online things because these people would just be there for days. and they So they would just die eventually of malnutrition or what have you. And, you know, that's obviously an extreme case. That isn't happening all the time. And with anything you can, you can take it to unhealthy levels. But even though I, I can spend a fair amount of time online, I still feel like I, I have a healthy level of relationship with people and I spend time talking to people enough. And I guess that's the important thing, balance. Balance is the important thing. Whether it comes to how much time you spend online or eating or whatever. One last final tidbit. You know, I, I've been watching calories. I really didn't do that much uh, on the, the trip. I did a little bit. I didn't really bother it, bother with it for dinners all that much. And I know I blew, I'm pretty sure I blew my calorie count. Um, I, was, I might have been okay Friday. I probably blew it Saturday. I most definitely blew it Sunday with the all-you-can-eat at, at Senders and Frankenmuth. Uh, but I got on the scale this morning, and I only gained one pound. So that was cool. Back up to 202. I'm still trying to get down to 198, which is my, my short-term goal. Once I hit that, I, am not, I would then be merely overweight and not classified as obese for my height. That's my, my early, early goal. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking I should be there. I'd like to be down 10 pounds, which would have me at about 197 uh, by Thanksgiving. That would be really cool. And then I can be a pig again <laughs> for a day or two. I will tell you, yesterday I was hurting, uh, you know couple days of of exceeding the calorie count and then I went back on it yesterday I was a good doobie yesterday and my stomach like you know wait where's all the food (laughs) I need my food I said no no this is all you got sorry 
I guess I'll let that be that for today. I will be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.